Uh, the last two Sundays, we have uh, caught up on some of the celebrations and the events that have taken place over the summer months. Uh, it was such great fun to see you all, and I think you all have that same feeling when you look at the pictures that Gary has uh, uh, put up on our live stream. Um, so thank you. Thank you for connecting with us through your photos. Jackie has announced with absolute joy and enthusiasm, can we see that picture again of baby William and Emily? Now look at that. <laughs> Certainly uh, Connie and Ewan are just absolutely full of joy and thanksgiving and we truly do rejoice with them. Isn't that precious? We had a celebration this week, uh, Friday Friends, because they're not all knitters. They're people who just want to gather there on Friday at around noon uh, at Tannery Park. And this Friday, I joined them and was really surprised because we had cake. And we had cake to celebrate Mary's birthday. <laughs> So that was really very special. Uh, missing from that photo are Shauna, Shauna and Bill. And uh, I'm sorry, we didn't quite catch you before you left to include you in that, uh, in, that, um, in that photo. So special happy birthday to Mary. And uh, Shirley and Tim sent us their greetings. And I know that uh, Tim very recently celebrated his birthday as well. So our greetings back to you and thank you for sharing this great photo with us. John and I, as Jackie said, do have our birthdays and we're gonna do something special. We are actually leaving and going away for a lovely little getaway this week and uh, uh, really looking forward to it, so. Um, our Knox volunteers have dedicated countless hours uh, of their time to the service of God and to our community and to our church family. Uh, they have made it really fun and uh, very rewarding. They find it very rewarding. Uh, if you enjoy blessings and would like to have some fun in your life, Join one of the existing volunteer teams or volunteer to do something that suits you. Whatever your age, little ones, seniors, and everyone in between, there is a way that you can show you care, whether it's in uh, drawing pictures for people who are not feeling so well, uh, whether it's friendly phone calls, driving to appointments, uh, even just praying in your own home, uh, cleaning, baking, making soup, being, becoming a friend to a stranger, uh, you know, sending encouraging cards. There are many ways. And with winter approaching, keeping sidewalks clear. Uh, we have requests that are coming in from our community as well as uh, needs that we have here within our church community. We can get you connected, so let us know. Canada's National Day of Truth and Reconciliation is September the 30th this week. It is a day to recognize and to remember the tragic and the painful history and the continuing, continuing pardon me, devastating uh, impact of the residential schools. The Presbyterian Church in Canada operated 11 residential schools as part of a, an organized project of colonization and assimilation of the federal government, a true and terrible part of our history. Uh, last week, uh, we were asked to wear orange and um, just to remember what these children went through and it is really important to read up on how all of the things that they lost during those years uh, and, and have lost up in well generations it wasn't just years uh, last Thursday I attended a virtual evening hosted by Glen Abbey United Church speakers series uh, their guests were Sherry Saville 
and Jody Harbour, and they are members of an organization called Grandmother's Voice. They talked about the history of our Halton indigo Indigenous people and how to respond to the Truth and Reconciliation Report and so much more. It was painful to hear the stories and yet very helpful to learn the ways that we can be effective in moving towards listening to the truth, healing the harm, and reconciling for this horrible time in our history. And today is a day that we have been asked to remember and to pray for our missing indigenous women and children and their families. So I would really appreciate if you would keep them in your prayers this week. We are aware of three of our people who are in hospital at this time, Marion and two of our Margarets. We also have church family members who are receiving cancer treatments, uh, waiting for cancer treatments and waiting for surgery, as well as those that are at home and suffering major health concerns. So please, please pray for those who are in a hard time in their lives. Every Sunday is wonderful because we gather to worship our Lord and Savior together, and today even more special because we gather with brothers and sisters around the world to celebrate World Communion um, at the table that the Lord has prepared for us. So today Jesus is the host and he welcomes us all to be his honored guests. Uh, so take time to prepare for this, to sit, to listen, and to deepen our faith so that we can serve others in the way that he serves us. We care, we love you all, air hugs filled with God's blessings for a wonderful and a meaningful week ahead. God bless. <laughs>